Hey guys, Molly from Molly's Artistry. Sneak peek at the video I'm about to show you. All right, see you guys in a sec. Hey you guys, it's Molly. I am gonna listen to the viewer recommendations and do a Dutch pour spin. So I've got my cake spinner here. Just gonna layer. So I took the same colors. I'm still just using my colors up. Um, that I did on the last pour. Let me blow this out. So a good way to know that your paint is the right consistency, in my opinion, for a Dutch pour is when you blow the paint, if you do this part and blow the paint, um, if it blows around your canvas nicely, then your paint's gonna be the right consistency. If it doesn't blow, if you have to like spread it with the spatula or, then a lot of times your paint won't move as far. Not to say that that's wrong or anything like that. Okay, I think I'm going to torch it now and get my air bubbles out because I had stirred this. Okay. So, what colors do I want to use first? I think I'm going to go with Payne's Gray on the bottom. A little bit of cerulean blue. Gold, maybe a little bit more Payne's Gray, and then the copper. Hope I have enough white to go back around it. Drip a little bit through there. Okay, I'm only going to blow one way, and then I'm going to spin it out. So, let's see if this works, guys. Okay, my paints may have been a little bit thin, but here we go. Well, it's not really looking like a Dutch pour, but man, is it beautiful. The cells that are happening on the outside, I'm gonna spin one more time. See if I can get it. Gosh, it makes me dizzy. <laughs> See if I can get it to this outer corner here. Okay. Wow, I have a lot of beautiful lacing and cells that are popping up through there. Oh my gosh. I actually really like this. This space right here, I might try to... Oh, this is really pretty. I cannot wait to show you. Wipe my hands off. I'm going to blow just a little bit down this way. The cells in this are crazy. I have a hair right here. Get that out. A little clump right there. Okay, all right, gotta get my hair up. Wow, I am like, I'm speechless. I don't know. You guys let me know if you like it, but I really, really like it. That gloss medium and varnish just allows the paints to kind of glide over one another. These cells are so intricate in here. I'll show you guys. I'm just going to blow this one little part right here. Talk about cells without silicone, man. Oh, I can't get my hair out of the way. I'm 
there we go. I just wanted that little soft edge right there. Okay. I will take you down so you guys can see it. Okay, so I like talked to you guys for like a minute and a half and then I realized that my phone had shut off. So I'm going to talk to you again. I love this painting. Look at the cells. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Talk about cells without silicone, right? Wow. Oh, that's the overall piece. I am loving it. I think I might do another one and just thicken my paints up just a little bit. But wow. Those cells. I'm in awe. I love this this little cake stand. I think that's my favorite little, this right there, that's my favorite little screenshot of cells. All right, you guys, let me know what you think. I really like it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Happy painting. Bye.